We all know that solar power is pretty cool and can save us a lot of money. But let's be honest, solar panels can be a smidge, oh, what's the word, ugly. Well, now there's a solar system that pulls power from a flower. Here's Allie Ward to explain. That flower specifically is the sunflower. And what it has inspired may be the ultimate in biomimicry. The sunflower follows the sun through heliotropic properties. And the smart flower was invented in Vienna, Austria. And it's the world's first integrated all-in-one dual access solar system. And what that means is that the smart flower, much like a sunflower, opens up as the sun comes up in the morning. It points the panels at the optimal 90 degree angle to the sun, and it follows the sun till sunset. The original founder of Smart Flower is Alexander Swatek. Jim Gordon has been in the renewable energy industry for four decades, and when he learned about this Austrian innovation, he was eager to get involved. Within a year, he had purchased and acquired the whole company. I wanted to learn more, so I hopped a plane to Boston, where I met up with Jim and a smart flower. Wow. It's so great to be actually next to it after seeing so many pictures. So this is maybe more area than you could put on a roof, but also you're tracking the sun so you get the most power you can at every point of the day. You do. This is Austrian optical glass and it's two millimeters thick and inside here we have monocrystalline perk solar cells. The enemy of solar efficiency is heat. Oh. So we have natural cooling ventilation. We have cleaning of the device twice a day. Mm -hmm. So that really keeps the system very efficient. Built-in brushes sweep the panel surfaces clean each time the smart flower opens and closes, keeping them clear of dust and debris. Comprised of 12 solar petals or panels, the Smart Flower is designed for commercial and residential use. It stands 16 feet tall in its open position and 9 feet tall in its closed position. What happens if there's wind? Well, Allie, you see that? That's a wind anemometer. And what that's doing is measuring the wind speed. And at a certain wind speed, like 39 miles per hour, it will shut the unit down. I would love to see what it looks like opened and closed. I mean, it's yeah. beautiful now. It's pretty much like looking yeah. at a huge solar sculpture. Yeah. So how much power can it harness? Well, it depends on the region of the country. We can wipe out over 70% of the average citizen's energy bill. And what about on a cloudy day? Even if it's cloudy, it's still attracting sun. It won't produce as much power as on a beautiful, bright, sunny day, but you still will get energy out of it. The Smart Flower can store energy in a battery for later use, and it can also charge your electric vehicle. What's the big picture for you? The big picture for us is to be able to empower consumers to control their own energy future. 